But I remember you telling me a story, um, and tell me if this is right. Either you were on your way there, and you sat next to a guy named Bud Freeman who runs the improv on a plane. I'm going to tell you the story I know, and then you clean it up. Yeah. On a plane, and you, you found he was a comedian, and he said he had like, some kind of competition going on. And you said, and you lived in L.A., but you were coming to Atlanta. So he said, why don't you do the Atlanta version? Right. You did the Atlanta version. You won. And they're supposed to send you to L.A., but you live in L.A., so you're right. going right back to fucking home. <laughs> yeah. And you went on there and you won that. Now, what am I getting yeah. right or getting that, wrong? That's basically what happened. What happened, We um, I was on with uh, Rory, remember Rory Flynn. Oh, yeah. Well, shout Rory, Rory Flynn. Flynn. Shout, shout out, because that yeah. dude, uh, he set me up. Because I had, I had did an audition for Bud Freeman okay. uh, earlier. Didn't go well. So I saw him. When we got to Atlanta, we was at the baggage claim. And uh, I said, that, uh, Roy said, that's Bud. And I'm like, man, I, I should have talked to him. And he was like, man, go ahead, man. Go, go on over there. Because, you know, I was all nervous and sure. stuff. So I went over and said, yo, uh, uh, Mr. Freeman, I, I auditioned for you. It didn't go well. But I'd like to, I, I, I'm a lot better now, and I'd like to do it again. He said, well, if you got, if you got the time, I'm, uh, I'm here doing this Johnny Walker comedy search. Come on down tonight, and I'll take a look at you in. So I went down. I think I did my set. Um, at the, at, at the uh, comedy yeah, theater, mm-hmm. and then jetted over there, uh, did the competition, ended up winning it. Right. And um, then they sent me, uh, we did LA, and uh, I won the LA version, which was the big thing. Got 25 grand. Broke as I was. Bitch. 25 grand. Did you grand. give Roy half? 20, 20, 20, no, I ain't give Roy nothing, <laughs> but I owe him. But much love to you, brother. Much love. You put this together, man. Right, right. But, um, and I did that, and then the same night, uh, Jim McCauley, the talent coordinator for The Tonight Show, was in the audience. And he came up to me and he said, some of that stuff you can do, some of it you can't do. Come to the uh, set tomorrow, and we'll put your, your set together because you got The Tonight Show. Just like that, out of, out of the blue, man. And, it was and, the craziest night of my life, dude. Think about that. You know how hard it is when we get on Johnny Cup? Back, back then, there wasn't that many outlets. We didn't no. Def Comedy Jam and Comedy View and all that other stuff. There Remember was none that, of now? that. It okay, was none was, of that. There was no, it's right. Black people... Maybe, like I said, the Tonight Show, and I don't know where else you could have went. At, Tonight at Show, David Letterman was David, starting David to Letterman, hit, okay. and um, you know, it was like daytime right, shows. Right, right, sure. Yeah, yeah. So to get those is the bomb story. So yeah. I hear, then you uh, you go to the Tonight Show, Yeah. you do the Tonight Show, Yeah. and you get to do something, well, got to do something that very few get, get and when they get it, I heard it's on. Johnny and them asked you to come sit with him. Yeah. Usually Johnny will wave at your ass like, yeah, good luck, peace out. Yeah. But if you get to sit and talk to him for a second, that was it. I heard just the, yeah. So then you sat with him. What happened when you, you sat with him? I lost my mind, man, because it's like that's not supposed to happen. Exactly. The first time on there, it's only been like a few people that have done it the first time and get called over to the couch. And uh, I was, it was at it was at the right time for me. My my whole life has been as far as comedy has been, you know, the right time. Mm-hmm. Johnny Carson was uh, Mr. Carson was getting ready to leave, and he loved comics. So any comic that he really liked, he wanted to give him that that um, that platform. Sure, you know, sure. so so I did it in June. Drew Carey did it in August, and it was a wow. bunch of comics that that he did. So um, I went over there, and uh, I just sat in the chair, and I, I I didn't know I was just babbling. I didn't sure, know what sure. to say, man. Yeah. It was it was just amazing. So I uh, he asked me if I had an agent. And I said, no, I'm looking for a representation as we speak. Mm -hmm. And he laughed. He said, well, you'll have it soon. And he called me to his office the next day. And he had two typewritten pages of agents and managers that wanted to meet with me. No, sir. Because he said I was funny. Yeah. No, sir. Yeah. That, that was it. So, you know, right Life time. changing. Man, right, right, right time, time, man. You know, just right place, right time. Okay, so you're getting an agent, yeah. a manager and an agent, yeah. maybe both I got uh, Dolores Robinson, Holly Robinson's mama. Dolores shout out shout to out Mama to D. D. Mama D, uh, yeah, signed with William Moore. So I, I was Let doing me ask you a question, because yeah. I, I shout out to Dolores Robinson for yeah. real. Why did you choose a black female? I'm quite sure you had everybody asking. Because she was mama, man. You know, mm. she just came in and she just took over and you just knew. I met with her one time and I was like, oh, that's my manager. That, that really? was it, you know. So I, I picked her, I met with her one time. As soon as I met with her, I was like, oh yeah, this, this is it. You wow. Because it was just, wow. just yeah. a vibe. And she was always in my corner, love her to death, still talk to her every Sunday. That's yep. Mother's Day. That's, That's nice. my girl. Really? Nice, yeah. nice, nice. So what were some of the things that you wound up doing right after that? Like, did you work at certain places? Oh, yeah. I, like I started, um, well, uh, actually, when I did the Tonight Show, I was still featuring. So when I when I did that 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 featured um, me here in thirty minutes. Yeah, I, 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 or a okay. tight twenty. That was right. my nickname, tight twenty. Right, Sometimes okay. it's like when you know, we're doing three shows, like look, we need a tight twenty. That was my nickname, right, tight, tight 20. twenty. So I had about a half hour of stuff, you know, 
And uh, once I got the Tonight Show, then uh, they wanted me to headline. And I was like, Ooh, I'd never headlined before. Right, right. So now I just, I just, I was throwing all kind of stuff together. I just writing like crazy and um, everything worked out. I got up to like 45 tight, tight minutes and that was good enough to uh, get on the road. As a comic, you had to be fearful, man, the first time you start headlining. Cause yeah. I was, you know, oh, yeah. you're, like, you're like, where you from? What yeah. you got on? Man, we all two together? Cause plus you're getting all this money. I mean, you yeah. get big, uh, it's big, uh, big difference right. between uh, tonight's show headliner right. Right. and feature act, right. you know? Right. So sure. it was, it was big though. But uh, gradually I just got into it. And um, my agents were sending me all over the country. So I'm getting a chance to work all these clubs. And when you had, see that, that was at the time when you had that credit, the tonight show. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, the doors, just yeah. open so people just they just assumed you was funny right so right. you know it, it I, was, I don't it think was a lot got, easier that way i don't think people realize what that meant at that time it was big yeah. i mean we look back now people are like man, to my show when that's the only thing and he calls you over that was it that was again it was huge yeah. for a black comedian too yeah and probably ain't but about a handful of them in four or five years got pulled over to him you know ooh, damn near did the show yeah. let's be real let's yeah. be honest true with it, it wasn't and, a lot yeah. and for a feature to be put on that and now it's the roller coaster rolling is yeah. you know it's going Crazy man. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?